buy you some kit you may want to consider buying if you're uh, into outdoorsy type stuff. Uh, it's the Army First Issue PLC uh, Bergen. Obviously this one's green. Um, cheapest chips on eBay. Well, fairly cheap, but really robust. You buy one, it'll last forever and a day. Let's have a look at some of the features then. You've got this uh, back pocket on here. Uh, well, you obviously, you make up your mind what you want to keep in there, but uh, uh, full length wise, big YKK zippers. Add this Bergen forever and a day. The reason it's packed is because I use it for training. Um, on the side here, all around the side here, you could put a pouch on this side, water bladder attachments, roll mats, uh, stuff like that. Anything you can keep down the side here. Uh, spinning it round, same again here. All your attachments for everything like that. Bit of molly up here and along this side. Never really used it for anything myself. Um, nice big fast tech uh, clippers, uh, clip, sorry. So no problem there. Moving on to the lid. A couple of uh, fastening points on the top of the lid here. Uh, good for roll mats and stuff like that. I like to have everything inside my bag rather than outside. Um, that's where I put my water bladder when I'm training. Then the hose falls down naturally um, and over my shoulder. So that's what I use it for. But a nice big pocket in there. Um, just open it up. And you'll see that uh, just in the, in the hood there, in the lid there, is another zip pocket you know well make it your own mind what you want to put in there um, double draw cords all round nice big uh, waterproof uh, valance there bag itself's not waterproof always use my opinion obviously you can make up your own mind waterproof bag I've got a couple of sleeping bags in there and some weights in the middle uh, like I said just for training purposes put some weight on me back but all the draw cords cinch up so you can get minimal rain, uh, water in there. If you don't want to go for the internal um, bag, then uh, put a cover on it. A nice big cover that goes uh, across it. Waterproof, good as gold. Uh, won't cause you any big problems there. Um, just a quick look at the back. More uh, attachments and more uh, ways of uh, covering stuff up. Um, just bear with me a second. Yeah, so there... Nice big thick uh, uh, shoulder straps, loads of ways of tension in the shoulder straps and a waist belt as well. So uh, really good bit of kit, nice uh, nice little loop on the bottom there for whatever you want to use it for to be honest. But that's the uh, sort of PLC uh, infantry type first issue uh, Bergens, uh, backpack, rucksacks, whatever you want to call them. Uh, good bit of kit, get on eBay, surplus stores, you know they're uh, worth having a look at. Let's move on. Right then, second Bergen, funnily enough, same as the last one, other than it's DPM. All the same bits in there. Um, can't seem to get hold of these in surplus stores for some reason. I uh, don't know why, I suppose eBay is your best choice. Perhaps that's why well, they are still being issued, because uh, we haven't got across to the uh, MTP yet. This one's got your side pouches, increases your uh, low carrying by about 20 litres I suppose, 10 litres a piece. So you're looking at 100, 120 litres-ish if you go for this sort of burger. Same bit of kit all the way round, pouches on the back there. Um, again, not sure about the molly, never use it. Um, zips, so much adjustment it's unbelievable. And uh, happy days, yeah. So that's the DPM Bergen, like I said, quite hard to get hold of, um, probably car boot sales, places like that, um, are the places to go. Move on to the next one. Right, moving on, I know this company probably hasn't got it built down to order, but this is a Webtex uh, Bergen. Uh, Sergeant Fruitcake did a really good review out of it, I think it was called the Ultimate Bug Out Bag. But for me, this bag here really has done the business. Been with me all over the world. I know, and I really mean all over the world. Um, let's have a look at some of the features. Uh, two pockets on the top, zip pockets. So instead of like the other, the PLC Bergen, it's got an extra pocket on the top. Um, these little things don't come with it. They're just luminous sticks so I know where the zips are when I wake up at silly o'clock in the morning. So two pockets rather than one on the top there. Uh, web text buckles, 
which you can feel have been built down to a price. Decent zips though, never had a problem with the zips. Uh, nice big pocket inside the hood as before. And obviously everything's DPM. Sort of a basher type material on here. Uh, all cinches up, you know, as before, but I'd still use, if I use this anymore, I'd still use it with a Bergen liner. Uh, moving down, we've got uh, pockets down here. Now this is a bit unusual. You've got your rocket pouches that can be made into a rocket pouch if, if required. And then you've got a small pouch on here on the side. Two pouches in the middle. And then moving across, another pouch there. So this thing really does, I mean it pushes it above 120 odd litres I suppose. But it's uh, these really, for some reason, are really holding their price. They're uh, right up there with over the 100 quid mark. So, uh, you know, considering they've gone back from DPM, obviously somebody's buying them somewhere. Um, perhaps it's just the shops. Uh, fast text bottles, decent, not as good as the PLC webbing uh, type stuff here, but it, it works. Um, it's never let me down. Uh, web text and stuff like that. Just pause you there a second. Right, welcome back. This is where it does come into its own. Really, really thick padding. That's got to be, I mean, this is after years of abuse as well. That's, um, it's got to be a, you know, a couple of inches thick inch and a half thick I suppose um, tie it off there, I tie it off to stop it slipping uh, chest buckle to stop it coming across you can see that uh, elastic that used to pull it back it's seen better days loads and loads of ways of cinching it down and uh, a really good bit of kit don't know why they hold their price so much uh, one thing I don't think I've shown you and hopefully you can see that is there's your normal rocket pouch there and then above it, you've got another little pouch there that will uh, hold your bits and bobs, whatever, perhaps snacky stuff. But yeah, all in all, good bit of kit, made by Webtex. Like I said, unfortunately, somebody just sent me a text, but a good bit of kit. Anyway, moving on. Right then, final Bergen then. Um, I don't know what they call it really. It's uh, obviously MTP, fairly new to me, but I've probably had it a year now. Uh, three pouches on the back, across here. Put whatever you like in it, you make up your own mind. Rocket pouches on the side. The beauty of this Bergen is it's, it's wider than the normal PLC. So it sits above what you would, uh, the army, you know, your fighting order, your webbing, uh, whatever you want to call it, it would sit above that or sit on top of it. Whereas the, the other ones are long back and short back versions. But this is uh, a nice bit of kit. I've put some molly pouches on here. Uh, just to give me that extra bit. Don't put much weight in here. But it's just bits and bobs. Perhaps a notebook and pen and stuff like that. But a nice bit of kit really. Um, I'm pleased with it. Not cheap. Over the £100 mark again. Bit of Velcro. Same as the other one. Um, zip on there. The beauty of this is it's uh, what they call a uh, a floating lid. Hopefully you can see that there. Let's just alter that slightly. Yeah, they call it a floating lid. It alters. It can uh, be altered from the the back here from these, and it velcroed on underneath there. So yeah, it, it's it's a really good bit of kit. So you can keep coming up and up and up without having to worry about it. Uh, nice shoulder straps, fine there. Loads of padding, lots of breathable. Um, sort of material along the back here again I know it's not waterproof because it's proved that to me make sure you you know I always put uh, the dry bag inside um, have tried this with a, a, an MTP outer sleeve on it that covers it a Bergen cover uh, not a great fan catches on everything and then it makes it a lot harder to get to your bits and bobs on the outside covered in buckles and straps and stuff like that uh, and as usual has got the uh, the waist belts um, nice bit of kit but if you're going to buy your own an expensive bit of kit doesn't come with the rocket pouches again that's separate um, I suppose it's got to be about 100 again 100 odd litres uh, if you want to buy if you want to carry anything bigger then fair play uh, anyway that's a quick look at uh, four Bergens that I've got uh, through the ages really if I went back any further it'd be large packs and stuff like that so, uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed this quick video. Thanks very much.